Yes, uh, obviously he had a really tough period, but he used it in a in a great way, I think, because he still managed to get um, a lot of things done and, and improve in many areas that, uh, except of playing, uh, he found really really helpful, I think, and now he looks ready and um, and he will have the chance. Um, Fabio Vieira the same. Fabio, yeah, we have to check him now after training how he is, uh, but he looked uh, better today. And with Tommy Asser journey a little bit more of the way. Yeah. Uh, there will be a few weeks behind still. Any other injuries to? No, rest is everything is fine. Um, Eric Ten Hag and other managers that I've spoken to this week, because of the summer and all the finals and, and, and um, tournaments that have gone on, are saying that actually probably not ready for the start of the season yet as a team. Uh, are Arsenal ready? Well, we are really excited. Uh, we've been missing the competition uh, for many weeks, uh, too long for us. Uh, we are so willing to start, uh, really enthusiastic about it. Uh, we had a really, I think, challenging pre-season, but we have managed to adapt, and it was a great challenge, I think, for everybody to adapt different groups, different stages, playing different conditions, and we took it as an opportunity and a, and a good challenge, and, uh, and the team has looked really sharp and, and really at it and, and desperate to play. Um, if William Saliba is involved, uh, he'll break a bit of an Arsenal record. Um, he'll become the fastest Arsenal player ever, uh, if you win, to be involved in 50 three-point hauls. So if you win another record, the more records you can get, yeah, let's earn the right to to beat uh, a very good uh, Wolves side, and uh, and hopefully we can achieve another one. And it took you 77 games to be involved in 53 point holes. So come on, lift your game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they are much better than that we used to be. I've checked my pockets. I've, I've got my keys. I've, I've got my wallet. I've got my phone. There's been reports of you trying to get the best out of your players again with your innovations. Well, this is the demands that we put uh, internally that they have to be much higher than anybody can ever think of putting us in, in any position that we feel the pressure. And that's the level that we have to hit every single day here. And if we do that, obviously our level will increase and everybody will be benefited to that. Um, transfer window question. Yeah. Does Mikel like Mikel? Sorry, sorry? Does Mikel yes. like Mikel? If I like myself, you mean? <laughs> you know that I cannot talk about any any other player. But that area of the pitch, if you could find somebody that, that, that could come and help, because you've got a busy schedule, potentially 60 games or more, a lot of midfielders, but quality is always something you're looking for if you could find one player in that area. After, after the season, we had two objectives. The main one and the most important one is make sure that we're still very, very much in love with our players and, and find ways to improve them because that's the main thing. And then, okay, if there are certain opportunities in the market uh, to improve the squad, certainly we have to look at that. And that's what we've been trying to do. And finally, from me, in terms of about seven squad players out already, like the loan or permanent, any more before the end of the while the market is open, things can happen, and uh, and that's always a, a possibility. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle, Hi. Um, just going back to last season, obviously it was such fine margins that you lost the title out to Man City, um, but you had so many great aspects in terms of a club record, um, 28 club wins, um, so many club record goals scored, and obviously conceded a Premier League um, club record low. Break more of those records again and, uh, and earn more points for sure because uh, it won't be enough. And with the level that we are competing with and, and every season is getting harder, we're going to have to improve again for sure. Will it take a perfect season to win the title this time around? Well, perfect. I don't know what perfect is, uh, but it has to be very close um, to the numbers that we've seen in recent years, that's for sure. That is great, you know, when, when you're looking ahead and, and you see everything 
that we are doing and everybody is so enthusiastic about it, that willingness to improve, uh, to get better, to, to keep demanding each other, you know, to look for um, higher ceilings. This is what I think um, everybody needs. It's motivating, it's inspiring, you know, every day is something new to look at. And, uh, and we have created that culture and, um, and we're going to keep going. Just looking around and, and the people that uh, I work with every single day, that, that they are ready, you know, that they bring in ideas, that they are so willing to work, uh, that they are ruthless about the vision that we have and, and what we want to achieve. And then obviously the players, you know, the energy that they come in the building every day, um, their ability always to, to put a smile on my face, uh, regardless of what happens, uh, and they make me enjoy my my job, and, uh, and that's the biggest motivation. And in terms of Wolves tomorrow, obviously they have lost Max Brun, they've lost Pedro Neto, so how do you view the test of Wolves tomorrow? Yeah, it's really tough. Um, we always have a big challenge to beat them. Um, Gary and the coaching staff, they've done an exceptional work, right? It's a really competitive match. Um, they are really tricky to attack. They are very tricky to control.